everyone. Please welcome the Pearl Song Band. you do? I felt like a little change. A little? Oh, okay, I got a little carried away, <laughs> but... <laughs> Emergency makeover time. Let's go, girls. <laughs> conversation though. So uh, <laughs> you think they'll notice the new hair? Notice what? Do you do something different? Oh I you got a different shirt. <laughs> okay, ha ha ha. <laughs> but no, it's just this past year. With all the changes, you know, new stepdad, siblings, cool new grandpa. I just felt very stuck. Well, I love it. <laughs> I love it too. You know, it's sophisticated. It still says I'm a rock star. <laughs> well, nobody's gonna notice anything till tomorrow. With all that construction back in Pennsylvania, we're not gonna get in about 3 a.m. That sucks. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm so excited to see mom's new baby bump. Like, Tora's been amazing and very, very surreal, but it's just funny how four months ago I thought I was going to lose my mind, but all this time away is really, uh, I've really been missing them. Well, the heart embraces all kinds of love. Please tell me that's from your TV show. <laughs> Maybe. But just because something isn't real doesn't mean it isn't true. I like that one. <laughs> Carney, wake up. I need you to drive me. Wake up. Oh. Mom. Oh. Robert! Oh, okay, oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Oh, days is way too long. Okay, Stephanie, Stephanie, dear. Um, I missed you, I did, but we're in public and it's late, so let's get you home. Hello, Bob. Bye, guys. Why does your friend insist on calling me Bob? Bill, Bill.
Paul, Ed, I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> uh, how was the tour? I can't believe you went with Dr. Bunsen. I'm so shy. <laughs> yeah, it was it was amazing, and you'll get to see Sam again soon. He really liked you. Really? Mm -hmm. I made a fool of myself at the wedding. He's used to fools, Uncle Adam. I mean, he hangs out at our house all of the time. <laughs> um, uh, you remember Janice and Miles? Yes. Um, they came down to help, and my friend Steph. That's great. I hear you had some computers donated that you need some work on? Yes, and if I'm not mistaken, I believe you might be able to help us out with the KJ little bit of dance. We try to inspire these kids through free weekend lessons in dance, art, maybe some STEM classes, and music lessons. Ladies? Uh, yeah, yeah, no problem. We can kind of give them an overview for the first six weeks, and then they can specialize however they want. My mom's meeting with an arts group about a supply of used instruments. I can help with drums if I'm not too busy with ASL. This is so awesome. <laughs> How about a tour? There. I think that should do it. We have a well-oiled back-to-school machine. Hmm. Everybody's getting along with each other. Right. It is not. My side is so pretty. Your side of the room looks like a chicken barfed in it. Mine looks like a unicorn decorated it with its own two hands. Do you know what's funny about that? No. Unicorns don't have hands. They have hooves. But they could just match themselves a pair of hands. You make an excellent point. I can help you sparkle up your side. All right, slow down. I'll think about that. Nice. <laughs> I mean, nice job, ladies. It's good to get help if you aren't good at things. Right, Dad? Mom taught me that. That's right. She was super smart, just like you. It's also important to keep a good attitude. Don't get down when you fail. Yeah, I mean, you only have one life to live and you gotta give it all you got. Yeah, I learned that from you. You don't give up even when you fail really bad. Well, yeah, but what do you mean? Well, you know how you're really bad at making breakfast, but you still try anyway and keep a good attitude? I think that's cool. No, everybody else really likes my breakfast. <laughs> yeah, you're doing so great. But my super duper chocolate chip waffles. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're the bomb. Boom. <laughs> Sorry, dude, but uh, no. Uh, well, I wouldn't say that. I mean, they are better than his cheesy corn chip potatoes. Don't get me started on those. Mimi's. We're just trying to help. Poor baby. Come <laughs> <laughs> <Love> to mama. <laughs> Um, uh, hold on a second. Hi. Can I help you? Uh, no, I think we're good. I'm Aaron Neville. I believe you know my brother, Paul? Uh, yeah, I believe he's one of our landlords, along with the Kings. Yes, the Kings. Well, the Kings are actually thinking about selling us half this building, and we're looking to make a few improvements. Good. We have lots of plans, and I'm really sorry to see the Kings move. The Kings have been so kind. I'm sorry to see them move. Yes, yes, I'm sure you are. Anyway, we, I think we can handle this by ourselves. All right. Hey, Thank you. Miles, isn't that Miss Anderson? Oh, man. I had her for 10th in science. Yeah. That's weird. Maybe she's here teaching STEM classes after school. I'm going to say hi. Miss Anderson? Hi, it's me, Miles. Miles Bennett and Stephanie Spencer. 
My, what a small world. Oh, uh, what brings you here? Miles. This is my fiance, Paul Neville. He owns this building. He owns hundreds, actually. Um, and his brother, Aiden. Uh, not hundreds, dear, but our company owns 87. Well, congratulations on getting engaged. Thanks. I've got myself quite the catch. You could do better. Are we ready? Yeah, I think so. Uh, hi, I am Stephanie Spencer. <laughs> six weeks. Yeah, no, that shouldn't be a problem. But I'll need to take the weekend off before finals because I am beyond hope. I'm in. Me too. I think I'm enjoying this more than the kids. <laughs> Steph? Oh, um, I'm not sure. Robert's a senior now and his family is launching a new line. He's gonna need me for a lot of weekend events. I can't really commit, but I can help whenever I can. Okay. Yeah. Maybe car or hey, yeah. you can help. Sure. You're never gonna want to touch me again. I highly doubt that. I don't get it. How am I a woman with 14 children and there are things about the pregnancy that I didn't know about? You know, I think you could lay off the baby books. No, no. It, seriously, like three months from now, I'm going to be a, a bloated, gassy, Sasquatch, no, no, with, 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 with bad breath and literally splitting apart at the seams. Yeah, episiotomy chapter, huh? You knew about this and never told me. <laughs> well, I have been patiently waiting 43 years to exact my revenge. You know, about that three months thing, I was thinking if there was a way that we could just squeeze just a little bit extra, maybe do some yoga poses, and have the baby this year. That would be tax deduction for this whole year. Yeah, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's fine with me. But you're gonna have to talk to the, the guy. <laughs> Ooh. Ah, mom, you were, you were right. It, I should have done this when I was younger. Mother knows best. Sometimes. Grandma? Yes, dear. Can I have a twig? 
You do mean Twix, don't you, dear? No, I only want one. That makes sense. But I want the other one. Do you think that's wise, dear? You are getting a little thick around the middle. I'm pregnant, Mom. Yes, dear. Pregnant at your age. There should seriously be some kind of karmic law against pregnancy, puberty, and dementia in the same house. Billy, don't forget to get the candy this time, okay? Okay, I won't. All right. Why don't we get the day after Halloween off school? It's one of the most important holidays for kids. I hear you, buddy, but it's not really a holiday. Jeez! How could I be a specter of playing volleyball after eating 25 candies? And I gotta run to school chubby. What can I say? Life isn't fair. B, your costume is slowing us down. The next steps. Come on, ladies. Excuse me, but we need water refilled. Oh, I'm just heading over to the table over here. We've been waiting for 10 minutes. Chop, chop, Lucy Lou. Uh, <laughs> I don't... Uh, what was that about? <laughs> I have no idea. I swear they were about to ask me about homework next. Oh my god, and you're terrible at math. <laughs> uh, anyways, um, this is Cole, my dad. Hi, nice to meet call you. me Laura, and I want you guys to meet the head of A&R, John Grish. Hi. Nice, to meet, nice to meet you. Um, it's really cool that you're coming through Michigan. Oh, it's an honor to meet you. We are huge fans and can't wait to work with you in your first EP. Sorry that her mom couldn't make it today, but, uh, but we're excited to be here. Uh, no worries. You might even know the reason why we're here. You know, our biggest artist is playing the star tonight. Are you a fan of Logan French? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, he's uh, got a really cool image. Oh, oh. Yeah, well, we've got a surprise for you. Mm -hmm. Logan is joining us. He's heard your work and he wants to meet you. That's so flattering. I, I mean, we <laughs> have very different sounds. No, no, see, see, that's why we wanted you two to meet. Logan has done an amazing job of adapting his style to what's commercially successful. And, you know, Laura kind of told me I was struggling a little bit with that. So, yeah, we thought he could help. Well, that's very generous of him. Ooh, he's here already. Oh my God. You're Logan French? Yeah, how are I you? I listen to your album every morning. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Can, can I get a picture of yeah, you? Yeah, of course. Thank that you so nice much. To meet you. you too. Hey, guys. Probably one of the only morning people in the music industry. I'm chronically punctual. <laughs> <laughs> totally different. Logan, this is Pearl Song. Your song's really dope. It's Thank nice to meet you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and your, your one bop, Love Club, it's really burning up the charts. We thought you two would spend a little time talking music. Well, we're gonna go over timetables and contract with that, okay? Well, there's a music store across the street, and I have to get guitar strings anyway if you wanna hang and jam out a bit. Yeah, I'd really like that. Uh, Cole, is this cool? Yeah, um, I'm sure, um, as long as Logan knows. There's a MMA champ sitting across the street. That's cool. Don't worry, sir. If I didn't fear for my life, you're sitting with the people who have my career in their hands. Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> so, <laughs> the way? Okay, yeah. Gotta, gotta, gotta go. Okay, so, well, this is what I was doing. Here's mm -hmm. Pearl just texted me. Mm -hmm. OMG, I am hanging out with Logan French. <laughs> Should I be worried? Only if you don't want to be a grandmother. 
Logan French is one of the hottest new teen pop stars of the year. Mm-hmm. Well, that's reassuring. Mm. She's a smart girl. And Cole is with her, right? Yeah. Well, she is, but teen hormones and pop stars have been known to be a toxic combo. I'm sure Cole's flexing his muscles menacingly nearby. Bye. So, are you ready for the baby shower? <sighs> I'm not ready for anything. This morning I cried for five minutes because my favorite shoes wouldn't fit. Bless your heart. I don't cry over shoes. Well, I... everything's gonna be perfect for the shower on Saturday. Jules lands in 37 hours. God, I miss her. But I can't believe I have a daughter in college and a son on the way. You're having a boy! Oh, you didn't tell me! I wasn't supposed to. Oh! I'm a mess. Cole told me he was gonna do Sam's fundraiser auction and I swear, I hated him for an hour. Why would you hate him for going to a charity auction? Because it's a bachelor auction and they're short on desirable bachelors. You're worried that some rich hef is gonna snatch him up while you're shopping for adult diapers. Hmm? No, but my brain is melting. Oh, pull it together, doc. You have a root canal in Rome, too. Huh? Andale! I'm fine. Mm -hmm. I'm fine. And there's so much that doesn't show So much we will never know About each other Unless we are brave enough To face the undiscovered Logan, that's, that's brilliant. Why aren't you recording that and s s instead of selling out? <laughs> okay, that's, that's not no, what I'm- No, you're f fine. The thing people don't understand is that uh, music and stuff's still a part of me. It's a twist and turns. But I know what I need to do to build my fan base so they'll support me when I do put out the real stuff. Yeah, so. You've come to recruit me to the dark side. <laughs> no, I genuinely want to see you succeed. I see a lot of potential in you, but I know it's going to take a compromise. You're not at all what I expected. I don't know what that is, but... <laughs> uh, no, in a good way, in a good way, sorry. <laughs> we should probably get back before your stepdad keeps his promise to rip me apart with his bare hands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's getting late. I need to be at the community center in 20 to teach, so. Community center? Yeah, yeah, I teach kids music. It's a favor for family. I love it. So. You're not at all what I expected either. Thank you. Yeah. Good boy. Hi. Did you get my text? What, what's wrong? I have something I need to talk with you about. It's about... For goodness sake, Stephanie, just go ahead and tell her. It's about the music. Oh, scheduling things? That's... I, I, I understand you're busy. It's not that big of a deal. We can work with... It's, it's not that. I'm quitting, Pearl. Oh. oh. Sure the kiddos will miss you. If she's your friend, she'll support your decision. It's not just the teaching. What? I'm quitting the band. Music is just frivolous for me. I don't need it like you do. And I'm graduating early next December. I really need to focus on a serious future. Steph, you do need it, and I need you. Well, she's not you. She has her own goals. Give us a moment, Bob. It's Robert. Anything you have to say to me, you can say in front of him. OK. OK, yeah. Yeah. 
we are different, but do you remember the day we met? I think so. First day of third grade, right? Yeah. yeah I was eight. And I wore a Led Zeppelin shirt to school. And do you remember how it just did not <laughs> go over well? So why don't you like Justin Bieber? He's just not a quality musician. His chord progressions are derivative, and the use of auto-tune is obsessive. You're crazy. He's perfect. He has the voice and hair of an angel. <laughs> that hair, it's a distraction. He's just another formulaic pretty boy served up by the music industry. You're so mean. Nobody will be your friend. Ladies. Ladies, why are you picking on the new girl? She said Justin Bieber was Dereva something. She said his music was bad. Well, his choices are pedantic and immature. He's carefully packaged and lacks nuance and emotion and structure. But Stephanie, you're the president of his fan club. Well, I am going to marry him someday. I mean, he's gorgeous and rich, but a prenup will say I never have to listen to his ridiculous music. Thanks. I'm Stephanie. I like your shirt. I'm Pearl. You should come to my house. I just got the new Sufjan Stevens album. Okay. We've been best friends for eight years. Pearl, we won't stop being besties. Uh, okay. <laughs> that, that stuff, that's not my point. My point is that we are very different. But the thing that's always united us is our music. I don't, I don't understand how you can't see that, Steph. I just... I don't need it like you do. But you do, S Stephanie. You need the voice music gives you. Well, she's outgrown this little hobby. Stay out of this, Bob. He's right. Excuse me, young lady. In America, we try to respect our elders. She probably doesn't even speak English, sponging off our tax dollars. Uh, soy americano. See? It means I am American, and you actually ran into me. So. Yeah, well, hey, I would get your paperwork in order before you start mouthing off. I'm here to see Adam Song. Oh, he's my uncle, but he's in a class, so you can make an appointment. Oh, an appointment. OK, well, could you please tell me? Can him I help you? I'm Adam. Thank you. Uh-huh. Sir. Your niece was just about to throw me out of the building. I'm sorry. <laughs> Can you hang on a moment? Uh, I believe he needs an interpreter. I, I think he's deaf. Yes, I got the gist of the exchange, Paul. Thank you very much. This place is quite a menagerie, isn't it? Hello. Um, would you like to come into my office? Uh, no. No, that won't be necessary. I'll be very brief. Uh, the kings have sold their half of the building to my brother and I, and our plans, unfortunately, do not include a cute little uh, get-together space here, so we're going to have to kindly ask you to vacate the premises in the next 30 days. Um, we have a contract with your company and the kings for another three years. So even though you decided to buy this building, they want to make sure that we continue running our place here. And we pay the first of the month. You can't kick us out. Oh, yeah, excuse me. Uh, he might want to check clause 13F of your contract there. It says if you're delinquent in any way, then the lease renewal is subject to a provable solvency for the following year. We have a monthly pledge. We have annual grants. And our money tends to be variable, but we have never been late on our rent. Ooh, another mistake. Uh, I think last December they were late and the December before that. Okay, wait a minute. The Kings covers one month every year from their grants. And so their money getting transferred to our account takes a couple days. Stop. Look, my hands are tied. 
your income is inconsistent. Hmm? Grants, donations, and all of that, they're not guaranteed. But look, just look at it from my point of view. What if a tenant, a reliable tenant, comes to me and says, I want the place for a year or more, 10, who knows how many years, and I don't give it to them, I give it to you. And the following month, you come to me and say, well, I'm sorry, Mr. Neville, but could you please, could you just give us a little extension? That's not good business. That just won't work. Correct, Paul? No. So I'm going to have to ask you to place your very favorable $30,000 annual rent into an escrow account before the end of this term, which is 30 days. 30 days? That's impossible. Look, Mr. Sing Song, I'm not a monster. Hmm? How about I give you another 10 days? Call it a gift. That takes you to, well, that takes you to the 24th. Now there's a day you should be able to remember. Hmm? You either pay up or you get out. Paul, thank you, Th thank you, thank you. And the prize for Pin the Sperm on the Egg goes to Greg Rodriguez. <laughs> Somebody knows their way around with the blindfolds. <laughs> and the winner of Baby Bottle Bowling goes to Christopher. Oh, hey. And some people know their way around a nipple. That's all I'm saying. Hey. Uh, I thought bowling was more of a powerful ball. Oh, uh, evento familia. It's the family event, boys. Come on. And the winner for the most creative baby name goes to Grandma Song for vermouth compression socks. <laughs> that was the shopping list. And the winner of Baby Song Game goes to our smarty pants college girl, Jules. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Mom? Yes? You're gonna need to let go, Mom. I need you to stay here. I miss you so much. <laughs> and now Susan and Cole are going to open their baby gifts, okay? It is so itty bitty. So cute. Oh. That is so cute. Is mommy her? No, Billy. She's just very, very happy. And why is she crying? Well, because she's also very, very crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, kiddo. It's not permanent. At least I hope not. Have you met my ex-wife? Grandpa, are you trash talking more and more? Just making conversation. <laughs> I hear that. <laughs> I never met the guy. There's got to be something. You are so weak, Paul. This is the sort of thing that should have gone through my lawyer. I don't see the problem, Maiden. Uh, you found a clause that can work in our favor. That's right, I found it. But that contract would have been much more in our favor if you had involved me in the first place. You heard them. Uh, there's no way they can come up with that kind of money in 40 days. There are no new grants this time of year. Everyone is begging. You do understand that this is why father left me in complete control of all company decisions. But mother left majority control of the property to me, and I don't think she'd approve of putting these kids out on Christmas Eve. 
Yeah, because she was soft like you. Or she knew that you'd be helpless on your own, so she wanted to make sure that her baby had a safety net. Don't insult mother. She was a saint. You had better hope that they do not figure this out. This is a multi-million dollar development deal that depends on us acquiring the entire block. That is 5,000 square feet of prime retail space. A lot more valuable than these, these kids. Little playground. I'm telling you, if they do raise the money, if they do, you, big brother, you are gonna have to figure it out. Not me. You do, you do realize that that clause gives them an automatic renewal for two years on the lease if they raise the money this year. You, you put that together? Look at me. You're pathetic. Uh, I just overheard something, and you need to get that contract lived over again. We only need one year's rent. For that something. They're all yours, Grandpa. Thanks, Dilla. Yeah. Is everybody here? Yeah, everybody's uh, present and accounted for. Okay. Uncle Adam's Community Center. Now, we all know how much good Uncle Adam's done for the last two years with at-risk families. Now they have until Christmas to raise $30,000 or they are out on the streets. Now, I can make some calls, but we've got to get creative. We're still getting a little bit of ad revenue from the uh, talent show video. You know, Granny on the go. They're always looking for new programs. Maybe we could pair up lonely seniors with at-risk youth and kill two birds with one bullet. I think you mean stone, Grandma. Well, that doesn't make sense. I mean, how would you kill two birds with one stone? I mean, with a bullet, you just line them up and it's a clean shot. You know what? She's got me there, yep. You know, I love the idea. Can you make some calls? We can put up donation cans at my office and at the gym. Yeah. We can have a bake sale? As long as you don't eat the profits. <laughs> I can sell some of my toys. It's oh. <laughs> very sweet, though. You know, maybe we could sell Theo's trumpet. Hey. I'm getting better. I'm joining Pearl Span when I get big. That's right. <laughs> you know, Theo, I like the sound of that. Oh, oh don't say it, Judy Garland. Why not? We have so much talent here, we could put together a show and broadcast it live. There is that, s that stage at the center. I mean, the sound system needs some work, Frank. And I can decorate it. I could get my social media class to help with the marketing. <gasps> but we only have five weeks. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> hold, hold on. What about, what about school? And how about songs for a new label? I mean, I've been pretty stuck recently. This could be the inspiration I need. Hmm. I'm in. You know what, me too. I think we're all in. <laughs> we're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I hate to break up this family moment, but I've got to get to the airport. Bye. Safe travels. Oh. Come here, I need a group hug. Group hug. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have to get that flight now for <laughs> Hey, Frank, can I talk to you? Yeah, what's up? I have another idea, a, a backup plan, but I'll need some help. Does it involve breaking any laws, ethical or judicial? Possibly that I'm in. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. How was band practice? Oh, <laughs> it, was, it was all right. Yeah, we can live without a sax, and Haley and Carr are picking up the harmonies, but we are really feeling her absence. I, I always knew I needed her, but this feels very different. 
Yeah. You know, we're working out the kinks. It'll, it'll be all right. Yeah, I get it. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just missing Jules. plane landed an hour ago, but I know there's 13 kids running around, but it's, it's like the shape of the family changed when she left. Yeah, I miss her too. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, I can... Go get Frank and we can insult each other for your amusement, if you'd like. <laughs> but, you're this little guy though. Mm. Yeah. Oh, God. You are not allowed to leave me, ever. Ever. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you're so silly. You're so silly. Yeah. Man, you're silly. Silly, and you also get schmutz on your shoulder. <laughs> oh, there you are, darling. I got off the phone. I didn't know where you went. I just thought I'd help my poor baby by bringing aid in your updated reports. You two seem to be getting along. I'm making an effort to get along with my future brother for you. All right, folks, I believe that we are all here, so let's get to it. Tessa has provided each of you with a revised copy of the blueprints as well as an updated timeline for the new city center. If these projections are accurate, we should have a good Christmas next year. Quite right, Betsy. I think the Snowdens are going to be very pleased with your decision. I really like the, uh, the cabaret and cigar bar on the ground floor of the old King building. Uh, now, there's months of renovations left on that building. How soon will it be vacant? Well, there is a small snag there, but... Uh, Paul! I don't... Nonsense. They'll be out by Christmas. Paul has me working on the stage renovations and decor. I've already measured and ordered the drapes. Well, Stevie and I insist on sharing the first bottle of Burl and Croft from the new wine cellar. Oh, perhaps you can save a taste or two for me? And... Paul, of course. Of course. Let's not pop our corks a little too early here, ladies. We still have a lot of work to do, and you and I have to get some checks up to accounting now that we have begun phase two. Yeah, I've got uh, Philip's funds. He and Steve still are still in Dubai. So. Great. There was an issue with the wire transfer, but we're good. Okay. All right, let's go. Let's go. Paul. How is our little problem? Oh, it's pretty quiet so far. I haven't seen any grand plans. I want you to stay on top of it. Try not to disappoint Mother. Oh, and you left out one of the bids in this package. Don't worry, Aiden. Listen, uh, Tess, you want to grab some lunch? I'm going to be working late tonight. Um, I'm going to head to the ladies' room, but I'll be back in a couple minutes. All right, just beat me in my office when you're done. slob roll over you like that. Huh? Well, I never really knew what a real man was until I met you. That's right. Besides, you need me to keep my eye on a few things. That I do. Pick up your trash here, dearie. 
pretty soon there isn't gonna be room for people like you on this street, so just pick it up and you might want to move out. All right? Thank you. Instead. still some kindness here. <laughs> we did what anyone would do. Yeah, and I've uh, got some paper in my backpack if you want to cut up some more. Oh, no, nah, no, nah, here, here. You take this. Now, if you take that in your window, you're going to get a snow day. <laughs> Miss, hmm. you look familiar. I mean, I know I've seen you out oh, here. I just have one of those kind of faces. <laughs> Um, miss, could we, uh, persuade you to do a little favor for us? Well, you are kind kids, but I'm afraid I ain't got nothing much to offer you. Well, how would you like a Thanksgiving makeover to pull a little prank on someone? Oh, no, nah, I don't want any trouble. Now, what are you up to? No good, but it involves a little trouble for your friend there in the suit. Oh, I'm in. <laughs> All right, our next bachelor up for auction is Christopher, our muscular gym manager. Let's start the bidding at $100. What do you think, ladies? $100. Can I start the bidding at $100? Uh, All right, let's start at $50. Let's start at $50. $50. I have $50. So $50. Any more? Can I get more than $50? Let's do $50 going once, $50 going twice. $100 from our mystery bidder in the back. $100 going once, twice, it's sold. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Christopher. Nice job, ladies. Our next bachelor is a national MMA champion. He's the owner of Champions Gym. You guys have seen him starring in the Freeman Textiles commercials, and he's got a pretty good Swedish accent. Get your paddles ready, ladies for Cole Bennett. All right, Cole, here we go. Let's start the bidding at $100. Can I get $100? $100, yes, I have $100. $100, looking for two, looking for two. Can I get two? Yeah, I got two. Two and three, can I get three? $300, $300, looking for four. $300, looking for four. $400, $500, so fast. We're doing great here, Cole. $500, looking for six. Can I get six? Six now, seven. $700 going once. Go. Say something in Swedish. They want you to say something in Swedish? You hope us to wait that you are gift. I've got $1,000. $1,000? That's a great bid, $1,000. Can I get more than $1,000? Is, is, is there anybody going to bid more than $1,000? $1,500. $1,500. That would be a new record. 1,500 going once, 1,500 going twice, and for a new record for the charity, sold for $1,500. Nice job. He's asleep. Ready, Frank? Well, I think so. <sighs> Gloria, this camera's running through a program to make you look like a hologram, so don't move too much. And there's a hidden mic so you can hear him in your earbud. And there's a speaker in your wig so he can hear you through that little mic. Okay. <sighs> you know Scooter, right? You ready? Uh, I don't know, boys. I, I don't think he'll buy it. They were no worse off than before. And remember, you have to make sure he's distracted or his eyes are closed before we shut you off or else he might notice the projector. Okay, okay. Paul? Paul Montgomery Neville. Paul! Uh, is someone... Don't you recognize me? Am I dreaming? I appear to those in need in the form of those they love most. Mother? I am the ghost of holidays past. Isn't that Christmas past? No, we say holidays now. Oh, but what do you want with me? I am disappointed, my Monty Bear. Monty Bear? 
It, it is you. Why are you sad, Mommy? Why are you trying to shut down the center? Well, we have to make profits. Aiden has a huge deal, and we need the whole block. I'm trying to make good decisions. Good decisions and most profits are not always compatible. Daddy always made tough decisions, and Aiden always said that... Let me tell you a story from 1961. Are you going to fly me back to our house on Cornell? <laughs> oh, always the flair for the dramatic. <laughs> no, there's special effects everywhere now. We prefer to keep it simple. Hmm? Where was I? Oh, yes, back at the little house. We were so poor then, why we only had one maid who just came in weekly. Mildred. Now every Thanksgiving, your father would bring Mildred a huge turkey and bags of groceries. And when you were six, he let you give Mildred her gift. I forgot the bag with the pies. <laughs> hmm? He made you ride downtown to take them to that patched up little house? I, I'd never seen a place like that. Uh, Mildred was serving food to a, a dozen people in, in rags. and I mean, She could have eaten for a week, but she gave most every bit to the others. And what did your father tell you? That she was a fool. You have to take care of yourself and your family. <laughs> Father confessed he was trying to toughen you up, but that soon he would teach you how important people like Mildred were. You see, in that room, perhaps there was a hungry child who would find the cure for cancer if only someone gave him hope. After that, he brought Mildred food for every holiday. Really? But Father always said that you have to take care of yourself. I guess he didn't live long enough to teach you and Aiden the most important lessons. Oh, he built strong spines, but he never got a chance to show you how the heart is most important. Wish I'd known this side of father. And now I need to go, my darling. But I still have so many questions. I, I, tell me. Oh, I hear the angels calling me. Oh, now just lean back and close your eyes for a moment. <laughs> what the heck is happening in here? Just a little project. Uh, are you projecting this somewhere? It's, it's to Paul Neville's office. Well, I just saw his evil brother come in through the lobby. So. Shoot. Well, we gotta keep him away from Paul's office or we're gonna be in big trouble. I, I'm, get, I'm getting the heck out of here. Mr. Neville, hi. I am so glad I caught you. What are you doing in here? I am, um, I, I, I just, I just, I just, I, I wanted to apologize for being so rude to you last week. Fine, now get out of my building. Um, I, I, I know, I realize you're a very important man, and I was wondering if maybe you could give me some advice for an aspiring musician? Yeah, sure. Stay in school, stay off drugs, get yourself a real job. Okay, I, I was thinking maybe more you could, like, listen to my music and give me your opinion. I really don't have time for this. Uh, what, what, what? What is wrong with you? What are you what are you doing? I love doing yeah. that. I mean, I I used to when I was a kid, D didn't you? Uh, uh Elevator buttons like a Christmas tree brings back childhood to me. Elevator buttons bright and round. You got to love that singing sound. Boo, like Christmas bells. I, I I can make a song about anything. You know we do have security in this building. Hmm? Out of my way. Five, four, three, two, one. Mommy. What? Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Aiden, Aiden. Mommy was just here. She sang to me, and we talked about Dad, and she even talked about the old house on Cornell. Oh, you wouldn't. Interesting. So, now you're talking to dead people. Huh? Hey, Mom. Hey, Dad. <laughs> I'm right with you, brother. Carry on. What? What? Are 
Yeah. Ah, hi, Sam. Hey, Sam. Hey, Sam, what's up, man? It's been a long time. I'm getting ready for a show in New York. Yeah. And the Caymans getting ready for a shoot. They're doing great work here. The show's on December 22nd. Oh, dude, that's rad. I just want to know, can I count on you for an appearance or a donation to support these great kids? Well, that sounds great. Yeah, I'd love to take part. Thanks, Mitch. Thank you, Mr. Vice President. Sure, I can help. Oh, the Swish would love to make an appearance, man, but the Swish and the Minions are about to hit the road for a tour. I'm sorry. OK, thanks anyway. Wait, I got an idea. How about a signed guitar by the Swish? That'll work. That'll make you some money. Super. Man, you always come through. Thank you very much. All right, Rad, man. I'll talk to you soon. Ciao. Hey, son. Hey, Dad. Uh, need a favor. Can you keep an eye on the house? The little ones are already asleep. Sure. Yeah, I got to make some calls to the West Coast since it's after 9. Just leave the door open. Where are you headed? Um, promised Svenska was going to help her with something at the house, so, yeah. Svenska? Yeah, you know, the benefactor of Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, we hit it off. We had a great time, and uh, I told her I'd pop by this week. All right. All right. Thanks, you're the man. <laughs> Cole? Cole? Do you have the file with the kids' social security numbers? Uh, yeah, I'm hopping in the shower, though. And, uh, uh but I, hey, I emptied my pockets in the kitchen somewhere. Uh, it should be on my phone. I, I don't know my own password. How do you expect me to? Obviously, I don't know yours. Uh, OK, a any little ears around? No. All caps, HDA 14 plus 1. HDA 14. Got it. What's wrong, dear? Cole is apparently having an affair with... Someone named Svenska. Well, dear. You can't keep them locked in your embrace their whole lives, you know. Mom? What? Well, men need the freedom to explore what is out there in the world, and she's not a child anymore. I say, c'est la vie. Wow. Cool. Thanks, Mom. Uh, hey, Grandma. <laughs> Duncan. Soft. Cole. No. I'm Dylan. Uh, of course. <laughs> well, if you see your brother, Cole, tell him that your mother is very concerned that he's dating. Oh, this tooth. Daphne Valium. I don't think you're allowed to have Valium, Grandma. Oh, crap, that's right. Mm -hmm. I never asked, okay, Duncan? Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Grandma. Hey, Grandma. Duncan. Saw. Cole. Cole. No. Cole is my... 
Never mind. Duncan is Danny Cole. Thank you for coming. Lauren and I met backstage at the talent show thing last year and we connected online. I remember you. You were awesome and beautiful. Aw, oh, thank you. I'm so excited by what you guys are trying to do. It's a great cause. Yeah. And um, she's also a dope choreographer, so I was thinking she could have some cool input on our finale. Um, but as far as your solo piece, you're in. Wonderful. As for group finale, I have a few ideas and want to know more. Thank you. Weren't you the stage manager at the state show? You perform? Yeah, I'm actually a singer and a dancer. Great. I volunteered to stage manage last year when I missed the deadline to compete. Well, we're really excited to see what you can do. the audience? White. I didn't expect to see you here. I've actually been writing and playing music with my cousin for years. I had no idea. This just didn't seem like my kind of thing. Look, whatever my mom says, you guys were actually really kind neighbors. A little loud sometimes, but nice. I love your dress. Thank you. I saw your fundraiser posted, and I really admire what you're doing. I'm glad you share a passion for the community. To be honest, I'm driven way more by the fact that this is really, really gonna piss off my mom. Bonus. <laughs> Let's see what you got. Why is Aiden having you assemble these? I mean, shouldn't an assistant be doing this? Information's too proprietary. We uh, can't risk having anyone else's eyes on this. Now. When I'm done with this last number, they will get printed and locked up. <laughs> Thanks for help. Of course, darling. Did you replace the pages, fix all the totals? Yeah, yeah, of course. You are a rock star. I can't believe this time next month all this will be mine. You mean ours, Aiden? Yes. Yes, of course, yes. Ours. <laughs> Paul Montgomery Neville, wake up! Uh-huh. Uh, who are you? Really? I'm a ghost of Holiday's present. Shouldn't you look kind of like Santa? Fool, where have you been? Haven't your mom explained last week? Hello, holidays. What? I'm the Quasi Queen. Who are they? Look closer. Ugh, peasants. I hate poor people. And puppies. I kick puppies. Please, sir. Can't we just have a crust of bread? 
Does that crutch work? It's a good prop for the suckers. I want all the monies. <laughs> Why is he so mean? You know, Billy, because he is a monster. I don't know. Maybe his shoes are too tight. Oh, I see. <laughs> My brother. <laughs> Got any puppies I can kick? Oh, he's not that bad. I mean, he's a, a bit greedy and critical, but, uh, but he works hard to make the Neville name. Oh, Aiden, darling, you're so smart and powerful. Here's a puppy for you to kick. Oh no, poor puppy. Let's kick all the puppies and children off the street. And your weak brother, too. Let's take all the money. <laughs> no, 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 that's, that's not my Tessa. I, I mean, Aiden is a bit cold, but Tessa's an angel. Dude, are you sure? We bought visual aid this time. Are you sure? Yeah, he deserves to know. Besides, they're his security cameras anyway. This way he finds out before it's too late. Ah, oh, Tessa dear, with your help, we are gonna fix my mother's little problem and flip controlling interest of Neville to the way my father always intended it. You're right. A few more years of him controlling this company and we would be reduced to strip malls. <laughs> well, he sure doesn't have your vision and fortitude. But you know, you are ten times the man Paul Neville will ever mm. be. having an affair with some heifer from the bachelor no. auction. No way, not Cole. You know, I would know if he Why were happy. would you know? Well, well, don't be mad. I didn't tell you yet, but I've been dating Christopher. Oh. Girl, he is fine. A few fixable qualities, but, but a good man. Oh, I'm sorry, girl. You know, I'm sorry for going on. Are you okay? Does it look like I'm okay? I can't believe this. Mm -mm, not cool. And Chris is his best friend. Oh, you should hear the way he talks about you. I took a picture of his text with Svenska. Oh, girl. Her name, her name even, even sounds like a Svenska. You know, I'm. You know, I'm too much of a lady to say. Hmm. Do you think I should follow him after work? In what disguise, huh? Maybe as um Santa Claus right now? Oh. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, girl. Listen, that wasn't very just that bless your heart. Bless your heart. Listen, I'm gonna talk to Chris. See what I can find out, okay? Mira, I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Okay, just go ahead and sign in, okay? Okay. No Theo on stage a lot. Because last time, the audience freaking loved Theo. Yeah. He doesn't. Yeah. But, um, no, I don't know. I know we said this is kind of a joke, but what if we just, like, let Theo do his thing? With no choreography, but, like... <clears throat> 
Can, can we help you? Hmm? Uh, yes. I'm not sure what you're working on here, but I wouldn't bet on it getting very far. Oh, we, we were just going to do a small show to raise some rent money, but you're probably right. Can some little kids do against a big businessman? Hmm. <laughs> Don't you be patronizing with me. My connections run very deep. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if you were paid a visit from the government very soon. You see, you see, the problem is with people like you, you and your families, you, you, you start running out of places to hide wherever you're from. So what do you do? You come into this country, my country, you come in more often than not illegally and you start looking for handouts, freebies. Well, I can tell you this, they're not coming out of this pocket. Mm -mm. You will be out of this building by Christmas. Statistically speaking, immigrants are half as likely to commit a crime as regular citizens. So you can live in your little privileged bubble, but the world doesn't belong to you. Yeah, yeah, bravo. Bravo, bravo. You are well-trained little puppets, aren't you? Good luck with your little play, and you know what? I might even get myself a ticket. Could prove to be very interesting. Thank you, but you should hurry up because we're almost sold out. It's empty. Toss it for me, sweetie. You know how to clean a house, right? Wait, are we actually almost sold out? <laughs> no, 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 no. But we might be. Are you actually calling Logan French right now? Wait, wait, she knows Logan French? Where have I been? Where do you usually go, Car? Hi. Hi. Hi, Logan. Uh, I, I was just calling to see if you were going to come down to Michigan to see your grandma. Bro, I think we are. How's it going finding the perfect hit song? <laughs> don't, don't, don't ask. I've, I've been a little distracted. Do you know when you might be in? Well, my tour doesn't end for another 10 days, and I don't have to be back in New York until the 30th. Is there a reason for me to come back sooner? Ride some soups together? Yeah, I'd like that. But look, I, I have a huge favor to ask. And I promise I'll write all weekend. Favor? Okay. Shoot. Hey, G Paul, can. Can you help me with, with song ideas? Okay. How about a song about net neutrality? Everybody's got an opinion about it, but nobody has written a hit song about it. <laughs> okay. Writing down net neutrality. Um, not sure how to make that personal. Really? Dire Straits wrote a song about a bunch of factory workers complaining, and it became a hit song. Hey, guess what? What? What's up, little beastie? I want to sing at school. We all wrote letters to Santa, and mine got picked to read to the whole school at our party next week. Wow. That's pretty cool, buddy. Only, I'm kind of nervous. Well, would you like to practice in front of us? Okay. Dear Santa, I hope you are having a good Christmas, or Hanukkah if you're Jewish, or Kwanzaa if you're African, or whatever that tea thing is about if you're Chinese. My birth mommy is Muslim, so I get to hug everyone three times and give them a date. Not like the kissing kind of date. Yuck. This kind is a fruit. Maybe I will leave you one instead of cookies. I'm from a place called Syria, but you probably knew that. I hope you go there a lot on Christmas Eve because there are lots of sad children there with no toys. Guess I don't want any toys for Christmas or Eid or whatever. I just want other kids to get 
mummies. That's all. Can you please bring all the kids in here and wherever they don't have the mommies and daddies because they are the best thing. No offense to the elves, but mommies are better than any of the crap, sorry, they make. I got Wanza, Eid, Christmas, Hanukkah, tea time. Your friend, Theo. Hashtag, all I want for Christmas is more mommies. Oh, Theo, that's just beautiful. Thanks, Grandma. Only, is there Santa? Because Andrew said there wasn't. Or why don't those kids in Syria already get toys? Well, Theo, uh, someone very wise once told me that just because something isn't real doesn't mean it's not true, as long as you believe. Thanks, Pearl. I'm going to go read to Mommy. I hope she doesn't crazy cry. You want some help moving that keyboard upstairs? Uh, yeah, sure. I, uh, I think I'm ready to go write that song. by to talk to Steph for a sec. Well, she certainly doesn't need my permission to talk with an old friend. How progressive of you. Guys, I really did like it, bro. Thank you. But you're my sounding board, and I am not quite finished with it yet. I need a Steph breakdown. Well, that, that was a nice catch up, but she's not in the music game anymore. Robert, it's just a conversation. Well, you get sucked into things like this because they're fun, easy, intellectual bubblegum, and then you lose focus. It's, it's not bubblegum. Stephanie, I'm trying to help you. I mean, you're, you're a beautiful girl, but if you persist in wasting your time on frivolous pursuits, you'll never develop any functional skills. So you're just saying I have nothing else to offer the world besides being pretty? Sweetheart, you know nothing about politics or history, technology, business, sports. I mean, you're not unintelligent. You have tremendous potential, but you insist on filling your pretty little head with things that don't matter, and then there's no more room left for the things that do. To you. What? Things that don't matter to you. Steph is an encyclopedia of pop culture, art, fashion, things that inspire people and make them feel things. And that is so incredibly important. And if you cared about her half as much as you care about yourself, you would see how freaking brilliant she is. Pearl. I'm sorry. I just have one problem with the song. What? I don't see any place for a killer saxophone solo. Bob? Listen, here's what I'm going to tell you. You're not Gucci material, okay? Bye. 
And also one more thing, you know? Bob, <laughs> I missed you. I'm finally giving up on men. <laughs> We're gonna go all golden girls and live together as old maids. <laughs> no, seriously? A boy? Who? Maybe. And... Maybe Logan French. <laughs> Shut up, seriously? <laughs> to heck with the song. You're gonna need professional advice and... Maybe a tweezer. Come on. <laughs> Thank you all for coming so soon. Please, pass them down. Is this everything okay, Aiden? Oh, uh, yes, no. Well, we had a problem and then a solution, albeit a difficult one for me personally. Uh, the first document there is the initial report that we handed out to investors. It includes expenses to date as well as all the accepted bids for phase two of the St. Matthews project. Now, the second document, the one that you've just received, uh, I just discovered in a second set of books being kept by my brother. You'll notice that in the initial report, all the figures the expenses, the bids are all much higher than in the second report, which indicates to me that my misguided brother has been cooking the books. Why? I, I, I don't know. I suppose to tap into the margins that he created, I, I don't know. Uh, but my fastidious oversight caught this in time, and I do not think that this is an insurmountable problem. I don't understand, Aiden. These numbers seem to be identical and include notarized copies of the bids and receipts. Please hold. Yes, it appears that Tessa has copied the same report. No, the numbers match, but the, the reports have different dates and fonts and only one has the backup data. What's going on, Aiden? Should we be concerned? No. No. No, no. I've just been handed incorrect information, but rest assured, I will get to the bottom of this. In the meantime, know that all accounts have been locked. Nobody can touch them. Money is safe. You don't need to be concerned. Mrs. Green, I'm Selena. And I'm Babette, but my friends call me Babe. So excited to get started. This is our first. Both. Not together. We both have baby daddies, aka husbands. I'm sorry, I'm not the instructor. This is kind of my first, too. Oh, I thought, I, I mean, we just assumed you were the instructor. I'm just as new to all this. Oh, but. You're, uh... Oh, wow, you go, girl, look at you. I mean, my mom is 49 and she's like, I am too old to be changing any diapers. Right. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go find my husband. Cool. So awkward. Hi, everyone. Sorry I'm running a little bit late, so we're just gonna get right to it. Um, actually, it looks like some of us are still missing our partners, so let's just wait another minute. Hi. Oh, hey. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Good. Oh, come here. Um, this is Selena, and this is Babe. Babe. Yeah, I know. We met. Right. Class is starting. All right. Hey, tell Ted and Garrett to stop by the new gym, okay? Yeah. <sighs> Bye, Mr. and Mrs. Bennett. See you next week. Oh, hey, Susan, um, are you in a hurry or you got a little bit of time? Uh, yeah, um, yeah, mom has the littles, your dad is with her too. So. Oh. All right, Why? um, 
If you're not too super exhausted, I, I want to take you to meet someone. I'm going to leave your car here. It'll be like 10, 15 minutes. Okay. Come on. Fine. Come on. So, this is my friend Svenska's house. Wow. Please don't be wasting my time with that business. Who are you kidding, man? Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Yeah, swear to God, I'm with it. I don't see nobody in my life. Ah, call mini little shifala. I make you some masran. Tak. Hi, Mormor. <laughs> Lana, my sweet granddaughter. I hoped you would meet. And this must be your beautiful bride. You have such a sweet husband. You're lucky to have a sweet husband. You're Svenska. Yes. And you are the beautiful and brilliant Susan. Uh, you must be Lana, uh, and you're responsible for our new friendship. Yes. I heard you speak Swedish at the auction. Mormor always goes on about how much she misses her husband and how much she misses her language. Dolph and I came here when we were just married. The children resisted learning Swedish. I went to this event to help orphans, and I left with a dear friend who I can speak with. Mormor told me what you did and got that horrible raccoon out of her attic. <laughs> he was all scratched up, but I make it up to you. I baked his favorite Swedish dish, mazarin. Pastry? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Raccoon, claw marks, best he, best he ever, best well, he ever. We don't know. <laughs> you know what? You are wonderful, and I love you. Oh. And <laughs> you are completely bonkers. Oh, I love you, and I love you. <laughs> I love all of you. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Uh, I love you too, honey. <laughs> She's completely bonkers. Oh my God! You scared me. Oh, but I guess that's the point, right? Um, ghost of Holiday's future? What are these? Your past, present, and future. Oh, I, I don't understand. This is my father's old accounting journals, some photo albums, and what, what's on the flash drive? These old buildings are filled with surprises, including a 25-year-old hidden security system. Who are you? Once the tapes are full, they're taped over until replaced. Surprisingly, they still work with four hidden cameras. The flash is a highlight reel that might help you with your future. <laughs> ah! Okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, wh what about the rest? We thought they might help you. Oh, oh, Paul! Come on, man, I heard you screaming from down the hall. Did you fall asleep again, have another nightmare? What, 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 what? What is that? Security! Security! Get in here! Where did, where, wait, 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 where did it go? Where did what go? Wait, wait, is that safe? The thing, the thing, the thing, it was just right there, this demon, you saw it, it was floating. I think you've been working too hard, little brother. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the St. Matthew's Holiday Extravaganza Fundraiser. 
Tonight is a night of holiday joy, music, dancing, magic, and comedy. But mostly, it's a night to help the children. I hope you are all inspired by the spirit of the holidays and our show to open up your hearts and your wallets. And now, without any further ado, I'm excited to introduce our host and my childhood hero, Dr. Bunsen, Mr. Sam Bennett. Thank you for taking a break from your holiday festivities of shopping, baking, and parties to join us for this great cause. So, without further ado, I give you the Stony Creek Chamber Choir. Well, is he here yet? No. Did you call him? Yeah, but he's not responding to anything. He'll be here. Next up, 13-year-old Blair Bernard White will perform an original song titled, Free. I've got independence running through my veins. Gonna take this life of mine and grab it by the reins. mistakes every day of my life i make mistakes way too many to count but every mistake that i made in my life it made me better because i made a count not taking l's but i'm taking lessons gaining knowledge coming back for seconds apply the wisdom now i'm saving seconds you know i'm saving time because i got the message there was some cartwheels to doing backflips but on the way there there was some crap you guys did you just see miles and dad's dance moves oh my god <laughs> no way hate to see my path in the conversation but when i level up in the conversation in the conversation. Oh my god, Pearl, I'm so sorry. My grandma fell with this thing and it had sauce and then she fell in the sauce and then we thought she broke her hip and then when I tried to go help her with the sauce, my phone fell. Grandma's fine. Oh, okay. My phone is it. Oh, well, I'm sorry to hear that, but look, you're on like right now? Um, do you need water, tea? No, I'm good, I have my own. And okay. don't apologize, it's for a good cause. Yeah, um... So what are you what are you performing? Probably gonna start out with some sellout music <laughs> to get the crowd hype. Oh, like I I'm so sorry about that. Like, I didn't mean to say that you're a sellout artist. It's just you're so talented, and all they see is this attractive piece of clay that they can mold into money. So you think I'm attractive? I I think. The universe, mm -hmm. and it's like a known thing that you're attractive mm. in the universe. So you don't think I'm attractive? Well, I never s said that I disagree with them. Like, I see what they see in you. So does the fact that I think you're funny, amazing, and very, 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 very attractive make you feel any sort of way? I I'm saying that... Wait, you do? I, I, I don't, um... We are so blessed to have a very special guest here to support our great cause. He signed a record deal in high school just recently for Abstruse Records, and his hit song, Love Club, has recently been surpassed by his new hit song... I'm sorry if I was reading into this and made this awkward. It's, oh, no, it's, it's okay. I'm always kind of... Uh, Moderate level of awkward, so... Okay, well, I should probably get up there. Yeah, your fans? Yeah. Uh, Logan. It'll be true. Enjoy it. How are you guys doing? I'm going to 
will be bringing out the band in a little bit to sing a few songs that you guys already know. But I wanted to start off tonight with something new. Hope you like it. When the music is fading away And you can't find the right words to say Was a maudlin display, huh? Let's just pray that the masses don't pony up enough funds. I think you would have rather enjoyed it if you had taken the stick out of your ass. I'm sorry, what did you say? Let's not forget who the brains of this operation is, brother. You, you might want to take an extra look at father and mother's papers. Although I expect you already know that my 51% gives me a few more options than you'd care for. Paul, what has gotten into you? 
Well, it might have something to do with the fact that my devoted fiance, the lovely Tessa Anderson, is having an affair with my brother. What are you going with? Who is what? committing fraud to help wrest control of the company while putting these poor kids out on the street. Paul. What are you doing? What's wrong with you? I am glad that there is a witness here to finally see that my brother has gone insane. Delusions of ghosts and demons speaking to our dead mother. Really, Aiden? Wasn't it you who saw the Kabuki Grim Reaper? Do you not cross the line? You don't scare me. You do not cross the line. Heavens, Martha. You know, we were about to give up on you. Susan finished her patience. Now she's leaving her notes for Dr. Schlesinger for her maternity leave. Perhaps she hasn't noticed that the Arctic has descended. Sam drove two hours through the tundra just to get me here. I don't die of tooth pain. I'll be buried in the snowbank on the way home. Someone is uncharacteristically surly. Maybe you've encountered people with severe tooth pain in your line of work before? Oh, Mom. I just looked outside. I had no idea it had gotten that bad. Oh, I'm so glad you're safe. Oh. Oh, let's get that cracked tooth out right away. Uh, time to gas up Grandma Grumpy. I can't feel a thing, Miss Susan. <laughs> oh, I just want a normal squid. Is that too much to ask? The giant ones are just too much. It's so hard to find a leash big enough for them. I hear you. You gotta stick with the small squids, you know? Okay. Uh, 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 okay, we're gonna need an elevator. Where are we going? An elevator's a dental tool. I'm gonna start loosening that cracked tooth. Oh, be careful, Susan. I am venomous. My spit can kill you. Okay. I'll be careful. Come on. Ah. Ah. Oh, no. Do you need no. assist? No, I, I think my water just broke. No, 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 excuse me. Well, you're not due for another four weeks, so, so no. Uh, no, no, no. I'm pretty sure. Oh, oh my God. Bless your heart, well, can you finish? Um, I mean, my back has been hurting and I had to pee like every five minutes, but, oh! Oh, 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 oh no, 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 oh, oh, no, 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 I'm calling 911, no. No, 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 no. I'm pretty sure that's a contraction. Oh, oh my God. I can no. get out with the rats. Or yes, hello? I can give you the news. No. I have a woman in labor. She's 37 weeks. Now, first thing we need is to keep mom calm and hydrated. Sugar, yeah. I need you to keep an eye on her contractions and dilation. Now, when we get to be about the width of a cocktail shaker, that's when we're going to need to get ready to push. Until then, just breathe slow and steady. I'm gonna need a cocktail after this. A few of them in therapy. Well, does my medical cover therapy? Does it cover that? Let me go and check your benefits package right now. Oh! 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 Can you, can you check this one? Do you see hip balls? No. Well, then it's on. Oh, thanks. Halfway done. Yeah. All right. Merry Christmas. All right. Okay, all right, all right, here we go. 
we go, here we go. JJ's to, to see if it's getting to be cocktail time. <laughs> oh, back here, back here! How far in are we? About seven centimeters dilated, and the her contractions are seven minutes apart. Oh, thank you. Exterminators are here. They wouldn't okay. let me bring my cat. <laughs> Do you validate? I brought my camel in, but the camel parking here is just so expensive on this planet. Is she okay? Oh. She's as fine as the dew on a butterfly's whiskers, okay? Bless her heart. Come on, Susan, okay? Okay. Bye. Bye. Ay, Dios mío. Martha. Ay, Dios mío. Good job. Good job, Susan. Oh, you got here just in time. What? Are you, are you making a crack about my age now? <laughs> no, 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 no. You're about two pushes away. Good job. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Susan, good job. Good job. Good job, Susan. Breathe, breathe, honey. Breathe. 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 Oh, my God, baby. I got her as soon as I could. I'm so sorry. He's greeting his family. <laughs> Mr. Song, it's 10 p.m. Unless you're ready to wire $30,000 by 5 p.m. tomorrow, I think you look like you're a little behind on your packing. I think that you'll find everything in order when the bank opens tomorrow. But that's impossible. According to the statement that you issued to the press not more than an hour ago, you were still, what was it, about $5,000 behind today, despite all your valiant efforts. Kings just released their annual grant funding of $2,500, and I just got an 11th hour benefactor to fulfill the difference, and I was able to deposit it before the bank closed. Mr. Song, this is not over. Not by a long shot. I have lawyers who are willing to work on Christmas. I have building contractors who belong to my country club. I suggest, Aiden, that you start packing. I have security waiting to escort you out of your office. <laughs> Paul, let me guess. The soft-hearted, soft-headed, 11th-hour benefactor. Brother, are you telling me you're willing to give up millions of dollars so the poor and the broken can just muddy up streets that we have ready to pave with gold? And don't you forget, I have the board on my side and they are well aware of all your little eccentricities. You'll find a flash drive on your desk that contains security footage from 
Hidden cameras throughout these buildings. Uh, an identical drive was delivered this evening to every board member. Uh, there's enough evidence on there to send you to prison for a long time. Oh, come on, big brother. What, you're gonna send me to prison now? Oh, I'm not a monster, Aiden. <laughs> You'll also find a contract on your desk giving 100% control of Neville Brothers to me, with you receiving a very generous allowance of 10% of all profits just for staying away and not interfering with our operations or the operations of the Amelia Langford Neville Memorial Community Center. <laughs> Bravo. Looks like my big brother finally grew a backbone. Only I'm gonna call his bluff. Do you really expect me to believe that you installed security cameras throughout two of our buildings without me knowing it? I didn't do that. Well, then who did? That was mother. Paul, Paul, darling, listen, I was only doing this so I could protect you. I'm really only just trying Save to- Save it, darling. <laughs> I have a sleigh to catch. <laughs> Paul, Paul, wait, please. Did the kids decorate this? We're talking about how we have too many big like, ones on this side. This side is so perfect. Thanks for letting me join you. I was going to Chicago with Robert's family, and I couldn't get a ticket until tomorrow to my grandma's. What's one more? And another. Come on in. Oh, Holy. Gosh. Sorry. Wow. Yeah, miserable. Oh, thank you. I'm going. Looks like I'm wandering outside. Uh, I seem to find myself without a family to celebrate the holidays with, and I come bearing a catered gourmet holiday feast. Hello. We heard what you did for the summer. You're more than welcome here. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Happy holidays, everyone. Uh, yeah. Kitchen? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll do that. Thanks. Nice. Oh, oh, come on in. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. Well, if it oh, isn't our you. mystery yeah. dinner. Happy holidays, Venice Songs! Hey, what's up? <laughs> My heart is just so full of blessings of this family and that little one. Like an in the uh, How about you? How was your Christmas morning? Oh, I think our Christmas morning was great. I mean, <laughs> gifts were well received, right? <laughs> what is going on? After all the trauma to my hands and, and my eyes, you know, I had to go and get a fresh manicure. <gasps> <laughs> Uh, what? What? Honey. I know, but you've only been dating for like six weeks. You guys were dating? Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. How did I not know about this? You were busy with a few things around here, bro. It's all good. <sighs> Great. Hi, Merry Christmas. Can we say that? Of course. And happy holidays, and happy Hanukkah. Uh, what's up? Well, I have a holiday surprise. I like surprises. Are you free on New Year's? I, I should be, yeah, but don't you have to be in New York? Doing what you do? Well, I beg to be the one to tell you that the label booked us to perform our duet when I appear on New Year's Ball Spectacular. Like, in New York? <laughs> 
What duet? The one I thought I'd work on tomorrow and finish writing with you. By the way, the label loves your songs. They want to put the duet on your album. That's amazing. Hey, Rockstar. Yeah? I'll see you tomorrow. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. for the ball drop. Come on, come on, come on, and sing. 